was in Costa Rica for a Spanish immersion school for a month. We started out with two of us in the class, and a week later, my classmate went back to, uh, where was she from? England, Great, Brit Great Britain. She went home, so it left me and the teacher. And we spent fascinating days together, learning as much about, you know, as much Spanish as I could. And I believe it was the third weekend. I'd gone to a, to a little farm up in the mountains. It's a great place. It was a lot like this right here, only it didn't have this many pine trees. It had, uh, it had rainforest. It was clear cut in part of it. And then it had virgin rainforest in part of it, a stream, waterfall, all this cool stuff. And I sat in a chair on the edge of one of those clearings overlooking the rainforest, hundreds of birds, and had a meditation that lasted about three hours. It's a long one. It didn't seem to go anywhere as far as any focus of any sort, just another releasing, surrender, non-attachment type meditation. And when it came time to, to rejoin the, the, the owners, etc., I stood up and there was a voice, it's a silent voice as a knowing that said, there's no more I. So all of a sudden there was a kind of an urge to refer to me as this. But that's difficult for conversation. But the following day, I was back in Spanish class with my teacher. I didn't know if she would realize the import of this or not. Um, I, I told her what had happened. So I was kind of uh, at a loss for conjugating <laughs> verbs. <laughs> that was what was on the book for that day was conjugating verbs. And when I told her what had taken place, she says, oh, isn't that interesting? Well, let's just use flashcards. <laughs> so it was spent with apple, butter, you know, pictures things like that, of, uh, and, and the words. And just memorizing, memorizing nouns and what they were. She says, you know the root of the verbs, you can get by, You'll, the world will figure it out. And I was, I was amazed at how well she adapted to my sudden shift in direction. Costa Rica is a beautiful place. Everybody, if you get a chance to go, do it. Do it. It's a wonderful place.